Welcome to the Clemson Insider. I'm Will Vandervoort. Uh, special thing here for me. This is like two days in a row for me because I got to do my On the Beat with uh, William Quackenbush yesterday, uh, 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 you know, an apprentice, I guess you will, or as I like to tell you, you guys, a, a pet, young Padawan. Um, so today, Kayla Burns Hefner, I'm sure some of you guys remember her from a few years back. Kayla worked with us for three years here on the Clemson Insider, and now Kayla works for ESPN. Now, Kayla's going to explain to a minute exactly what all she does because it's a lot. And so instead of me messing it up, I'm going to give it to her. But Kayla, thanks so much for being with us. This is awesome to, to get to, to talk to you and, and, and talk about the journey you've been on here the last three years. Of course. And thank you guys so much for having me back. I feel like this is my little version of a Clemson homecoming. I'm coming back to all the people that I used to spend all my time with in college. So I'm really happy to be back. Now, you're, you're back. Why, tell people why you're back, why you're talking to us today. Yeah, so I'm back. I um, am a content associate for ESPN now, specifically for football. I work on the ACC Network, and my football crew for the season is the ACC Network primetime football crew, which happens to be broadcasting the Charlotte at Clemson game on Saturday night. So that's why I'm in town. Now, tell people exactly you know what that entails, what you do, because they're, they're not going to see you on TV and stuff like that, unless you're real careful and you look and you... You like you'll see Katie George, the sideline reporter. If you see her, odds are you're gonna see Kayla sitting really close to the side. Generally, if you're seeing me on TV, that's like not a good thing. <laughs> Unless I just happen to be in the background of a play, then you know. Right, you can't help yeah, that. I'm, I'm there. I'm just I'm there. They're documenting the presence of the game I'm there. Right. But yeah, normally you're not supposed to see me on TV. So if you see me, I'm sorry. I hope I didn't mess up. But yeah, my role as a content associate is basically. Um, I don't know if people are familiar with like what a production assistant is, but a content associate is basically the promotion right after mm -hmm. um, a production assistant. So I started off at ESPN right after my time at Clemson. I did a short stint with the um, Sports Journalism Institute, and that landed me with an internship with ESPN right after that. And that was in with the magazine. Right. Uh, and then right after the magazine, I went over and became, became a production assistant for ESPN on the studio side. Did a short stint in Bristol for a little while. Decided that I wanted to try to move down to Charlotte and work in the event side. Did that in about April of last year mm -hmm. and have been down here now for what? Almost a uh, year and a half? A year and a half, yeah. Yeah, a year and a half. And so... Some, You're Southerner now. <laughs> even I'm more Southern. so. <laughs> <laughs> I got, in that time frame, I got promoted to a content associate, which basically means that I did well with my time and um, now I have a little bit more job responsibilities. So... Anything you can think of that aids the broadcast, so whether it be like shipping out mic flags, the banners that go around the stadium, that's like a huge job responsibility that people don't normally think about. Um, the most, I guess, glamorous uh, job responsibility that we have is we do the edits for the broadcast. So when you're watching a game broadcast and you see um, an edited package on like, say, Travis Etienne, mm -hmm. um, like a, you know, high energy kind of tempo package that looks like it had been pre-produced. I generally do that during the week, um, as well as, you know, if the say the play-by-play -play announcer mentions a game that happened, you know, 1995, I'll use that as an example, because we did that in our last game, um, you know, do a flashback of that. I'm pulling that old footage. I'm finding kind of that stuff in our archives, getting that all together and making sure that we have everything that the broadcast could potentially want to air um, that's not going to be happening on the field. So that's, in a nutshell, what I do during the week. And then now I've been traveling every weekend. I work a little bit with our sales team. So I'm there, um, you know, kind of helping with our camera guys, producing shoots, um, just like whatever, you know, is necessary to help the broadcast. Um, I'm doing that. And then I'm on the field during the games. And, and you know, so people understand you're – you know, you got to do, be from the ground running with the ACC network, and mm -hmm. how has that been the, to know you're a part of that and that this net, you know, to watch it, you know, you saw it in the baby stages and how they were trying to get everything together, and now to actually see it out there and, you know, people watching it in the games you're at covering and stuff like that. It's incredible, and I actually literally just got so good well, that's what saying I do. that. <laughs> <laughs> because um, it's literally a dream come true for me. I've wanted to work for the ACC network since we were – at the ACC kickoff when Rosalind Durant announced that there would be an ACC network a few years ago. And I thought, I was like, wow, this is going to be the coolest thing ever. I can like, at that point in my time, I was working with you guys and I was like, I can only imagine, you know, how great it would be to work with them and how great it would be to like, you know, just be a part of that. And I had no idea at that time frame that I could be a part of, you know, its launch and be a part of 
its first season of football on the ACC network. I had no idea that that could even be in the works. I didn't know the time frame of anything that was going to be going on, but I knew that I wanted to be a part of it. And so that was kind of a factor that played in my decision of wanting to move down to Charlotte because mm -hmm. in my initial interview with ESPN to be a production assistant in Bristol, they asked me, they said, where do you see yourself in five years? And I said, I want to be an integral part of the launch of the ACC network. I had no idea what that <laughs> meant. I had absolutely no idea. I just thought, one, that's what I wanted. That's what I was passionate about. But two, I thought that that would sound good in an interview. I was like, I know what I want. It's focused. It's direct. And that's, yeah. that's what I want. Um, and obviously it worked. <laughs> I had no idea that any of it was going to be in Charlotte or if it was going to be in Bristol. I had no idea. Um, but I knew that, you know, my best bet would to be you know, where the people who would be making a lot of those decisions, some of them were in Charlotte, and I was like, you know what, I bet I could, you know, work my way up in a small office and, you know, get to know some of these people, and maybe if I work hard enough, I'll get a chance to be involved with it, and now it's, uh, it's what I do. The funny part during the ACC football kickoff, so Kayla's working this year with the event with the ACC Network, and like twice, because I was so used to her being there with us and working with her, I like start telling Kayla what to do. Kayla's like, uh, I don't work for you now, we will. And I'm like, I didn't say that. No, you didn't say that. No, you just look you're giving me. And I was just like, oh, I'm sorry, Kayla. That's right. You don't work for me anymore. I mean, like twice I almost did that. I almost asked you to do something for me. I mean, I worked for you guys for three years. I basically worked for <laughs> almost more time than I worked for ESPN. So it's fair. Yeah, I know. It's fair. But still, it, it was funny because I just kind of just forgot. That's the old man in me, I guess, that's happening. So. <laughs> Oh, she worked for me. Um, anyway, uh, horrible impression. Uh, anyway, so so what's next? You know, on the docket for you. I know you got dreams and goals, and you know, um, you're just gonna kind of try to keep working towards those things. Yeah, I'm just gonna try to keep working hard every single day. Um, I don't know exactly what my path is going to look like. I know it's been playing out pretty well for me so far. It's better than I could have expected. Um, there's definitely a lot of things that I'm still passionate about that I want to pursue, but. I don't really know exactly what direction that's going to head me in, but I know that I'm I'm in a good spot. And we got three other before we wrap up. We got three other uh, former TCI members that are working for ESPN. Also, we got Olivia Garrison, yeah. who worked with you for for a couple of years. Uh, we got Ashley Pender just up there, and we got Ashley Hodge. What are you hearing from them guys? I know y'all probably talk, and it's because yeah. it's, the, it's well, the TCI Clemson connection there. You know, it's actually really funny because you know. Um, Olivia and Ashley Pender just actually work on the ACC network mm -hmm. and they work on the studio side and um, our crew works a lot with the studio side you know we try to inter interact a lot and if I have a question I'll literally just be like hey Olivia are you at work right now <laughs> she's like yeah I'm at work I'm like can can you like help me find something and she'll, <laughs> she'll help me out so it's been really cool because I you know just to have that connection I know that she's always going to have my back so I mean regardless she's always going to have my back but just to have that special connection too has been pretty cool. Yeah, it is. Y'all got that working relationship together uh, from working here at TCI, so it's awesome. And we're so proud of all four of you guys. And you know, just you know, you kind of you're you're the trailblazer. I, I know you don't like. I know she's very <laughs> it modest. Makes me embarrassed. You, you, you're you're the trailblazer. You're the one that got it all going, and everybody looks up to you. And, and of course, me and uh, Robert and the gang are really proud of what you've done and accomplished. And you know, we wish you all the best of luck as you continue to uh, make us proud in, in, in your career. So. Good luck. Thank you for thank being you. here. It's so great to see you. Well, thank you guys. If it wasn't more for you guys giving me an opportunity, I definitely wouldn't be in the spot that I'm at. So well, I really appreciate it. we just gave you a job. You did the rest. So anyway, <laughs> thanks, Kayla. That's all we got. Stay tuned to TCI. We'll have more coverage from the uh, Clemson-Charlotte game as we get you set for Saturday night.